The next thing we're going to learn is how to add styles to your text boxes and your picture boxes. Now I've just drawn off a regular text box and you can see the default of course is rectangular. But let's say instead of a rectangular box I wanted to add a beveled edge to it. Well in Quark Express this allows you to be changed up by going to your item menu, drop down menu, and changing the shape of it. Right now the shape that's selected is the rectangle, but there's also a corner rectangle, a, uh, a regular straight beveled rectangle, an inverse bevel, a circular, or just a free transform. Let's choose the corner beveled rectangle, and you can see now that my text box has these rounded edges to them. You can adjust this roundedness down at the bottom in your measurements palette. Right now it's at a quarter of an inch, so if I wanted to make it one and a quarter of an inch, you can see the curve of this now goes one, one and a quarter inch around. Additionally, let's look at some of the other ones by going to item and then the shape. You can have a, just a straight edge to it and you'll notice if I adjust the size of my text box, it will keep the same measurements as well. And I can always go down to my measurements palette and adjust it back to whatever I need. I'm going to change the color of the box so we can see it a little better. Uh, same way for the, an inverse selection tool. And you can see it inverses and has the little rounded edges as well. So those are kind of neat to do. The next thing you can do, I'm going to adjust this back to just a plain old content box, is adjust the uh, borders along the edge of your box. To do this, you can add a border to it by highlighting the box you want, go up to item, and down to frame. The frame of your box is uh, what we call the border of the box. And right now it's set to have a width of zero points. But if I gave it something, say a five point border, you can see now it has a nice black five point border to it. Let me go back up to frame and you'll open it up. You can also see we can change the style of it. Right now the default is the solid and we can also change the color of it. So if I made it any bigger, so let's make it an eight point, of course I can hit apply, it makes it bigger, I can change the style of it and you can see we've got some different types of styles but there's also our default ones just like our lines of uh, thick and thin or we can adjust the triple thick <clears throat> or there are some fancy little fonts like the art deco shadow ones that adds uh, different styles, different little flair to it and you can see that or more ornate type styles. Very, very different. Additionally, we can change up the colors that we've chosen. And it'll, you can see what it'll look like in your little preview box. And once we hit apply and we hit OK, now we've added a very decorative little border to the box that we've created. Again, it acts just like a regular text box. I can go in and start typing text within my box as well. I also have full editing control of it as needed.